Welcome back to another Star Stable video. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, I'm, I'm here with a friend that you guys haven't seen on my channel in a while, and it's a puppy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you cut out what? Hi. <laughs> not, not, not that voice. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to be reading bad reviews of parents together because it's always fun to be with a friend when you're reading bad reviews. True. True, 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 true. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's just get right into the video because I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, so the first review, I'm lagging. Oh god, oh I god. am like laggy. Oh my god. So the first review is lots of horses and fun with interesting storyline and many... With an interesting storyline and many fun characters in this game, captures you from the very beginning. It is not just the story that's amazing about the game either. There are so many different horse breeds available, and many of them look and move different from each other. Through this game, I, through this game, I have met some amazing friends that I would recommend this game to everyone I meet. I might need to turn my graphics down. Oh my gosh, maybe. Here, give me a second. If only you could, like, access your settings without having to, like, go straight into a hard stop. Like, you could access it while you're running. That'd be so helpful. Yeah, okay, so that was the ending of that review. Hmm. Let's see if we can find the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, I have a couple bad ones. Oh, my. Okay, graphics turning down helped a bit. Okay, the next one is customer service is terrible. My daughter loved this game and eventually convinced us to buy her membership as a gift. The problems began less than a month after the purchase. She somehow was either hacked or the game had a glitch and she was transported to a world she can't play in. Her level isn't high enough. We have been messaging, emailing, and begging, complaining for over a week, and I have received absolutely no help. Um, the one actual email we, we received from customer service rep consisted of one sentence. A level 12 cannot be... In Epona, completely unhelpful. I'm so tired of dealing with this. I thought their customer service had gotten better. Um, I don't think customer service was ever good from the beginning, well, like at I mean, all. It's getting, it's getting a bit better. I've emailed them a couple times and they've helped out. Mm. It's just the people with I mean, bad experiences. Yeah, they're definitely improving, I'll say that. But back then, they were like awful. <laughs> They were rude and stuff. Okay, we're gonna go straight to Marley's because I always had skip. an interview with the uh, with the owner from with the CEO of Star Stable. Oh, he actually seems like a nice dude. There's so many butterflies. Why are there so many butterflies? It's literally November. <laughs> it doesn't show. I don't know. They they stay here forever. Okay, let's go to the next review. So, uh, Star Stable is a great game and suitable, suitable for all ages. There are some bad people on there, but Star, da Star Stable does have an ignore feature to block these types of people. The pricing is fair, and it really puts people's puzzle-solving skills to the test. If you ever wanted your own horse and pony but could never get one in real life, then Star Stable is for you. Great and unique graphics with very interesting and diverse storyline. Oh, God. Oh, well, you are at the center of it all. What are you waiting for? Head over to www.startstable.com to make your account and download this amazing game. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, all out of the details. <laughs> Not them advertising it. <laughs> Just like, here's Star Stable. If you hire me, I'll advertise your game every single day. <laughs> I'll just put a bunch of reviews. No. <laughs> okay. Next review. Simple slash cute game, but allows communication with strangers and can be costly. The game is harmless on its face, but does allow players to communicate with each other and can get costly. They constantly advertise sales for coins to get the kids excited to continue investing in the game. If not monitored like any online game, it can become addictive and confuse children into believing that other users of this game are their friends. Beware how children treat the communication with complete strangers. That, cre that create cute usernames for themselves. 
Yeah, I'm Von Der Deer Home. That's an amazing username. <laughs> I'll just name myself um, Patricia Puppy Cutie. <laughs> That's it's a fine. cute username. That's an amazing username. <laughs> like, I could not believe how amazing that username is. <laughs> Patricia, though. <laughs> Hi, my name is Patricia. Patricia! <laughs> Patricia, get down here immediately. <laughs> Patricia, stop filling my class. <laughs> Where are you? Where'd you go? Go to the Baroness Racetrack. Can you wait for me and not abandon me? I'll wait. I'll wait, I'll wait. your classes. Okay. <laughs> Episode was bad. All they think about Patricia, is- Patricia, stop playing for stable. Patricia, stop playing Roblox. Patricia, stop playing Red Dead Redemption. Patricia, stop buying things without me knowing. <laughs> Patricia, stop playing Genshin Impact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next review. SSO is bad. All they think about is how to get out of more money from your pocket. And the community is bad. Sometimes they don't respond to letters about problems in the game or just don't bother with it. Your in-game account can easily get hacked. Don't bother. The game is also quite sexist and you can only play as a girl, which is weird. But there are a lot of other games where your avatar can only be male boy, so it's not unusual. This issue has improved along the years and in, in, in overall, but not in SSO, and I don't think it ever will. Well, I mean, I mean, how are you saying the game's sexist, but then you go along to say, like, but other games have only male characters? Um, Like, how can you say one thing's sexist, but then go and say that something else isn't sexist? I mean, I can see why they think that about Star Stable, because, yeah, there's some boys that play Star Stable, and it's basically a girls-only game. But the fact is, is that there's, like, hairstyles that are good for boy characters and stuff and then they have clothes that are good for them so it's not really a bad thing they just want to play a horse game yeah i mean it's not like, like it's, it's not like they're like only having girl hair and only having girl clothes yeah boys can play what they like like it's the same thing with sports girls can play what boys want to play like girls could play basketball girls could play soccer girls could play football etc cetera, etc cetera. and stuff like that yeah Okay. Like wear boy clothes, they're fine. It's but then again, they didn't no say that the issue has improved along the years overall. Hmm. I mean, it's true. Okay, ready for the next one? I mean, yeah, but it, I mean, it's kind of like irrelevant towards these, um, towards our stable players now. <laughs> I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pick the grapes. I'm not picking grapes for you, Baroness. You're not like 150 years old. You could do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Okay, I personally like this game a lot and recommend it for everybody. Sure, the star coins are expensive, but I think it's totally worth it. When I unlocked Epona, a part of the map where you have to be level 17 to unlock, I went on the game more because my dream horses are there. Lovely nature and there, and lovely nature there, and interesting hooking quests. So be aware that I'm going to have grammar mistakes. LOL. LOL means laughing out loud. The horses are beautiful. Um, didn't have to give out your info there, Allegra, but that's okay. But, like, why Allegra. don't you give out your age? That, like, I don't think you should give out your age unless you really know somebody. I mean, that's kind of dangerous, Allegra. You might not want to do that. Especially, you might want to I mean, also like, change I understand yourself. when, like, you're, like, applying for a club and they're, like, they have age ranges, but, like, asking for your specific name, like, your specific age, that's kind of, like, a red flag for a club. But you shouldn't put your name out, out you shouldn't put your name at, or address or like out, shouldn't put your name address or like age out there unless like you really know the person like you've been friends with them for a long time yeah that's kind of dangerous people um keep your personal info to yourself that's all i'm gonna say okay <laughs> yeah um don't say your age don't say your exact age because like i feel like some clubs are really safe because they just have the age limit of like 10 and up, 11 and up, 12 up, 13 and up, and 14 and up, and what to what. And then sometimes in the applications, they'll just um, have you pick an age limit, either 10, and, 10 or up, or, or 10 or lower. They'll have those options. Like, are you... 
are you 11, for example, like for the questions in the application? So be like, are you matching the age requirements? And then they'll have, like, sometimes they'll have the answers of well, I'm higher, I'm lower, or I'm the exact same age. Yeah, which like, is, I, I think, it when I applied for like TNH, they had like, um, they had like age ranges, so it'd be like 16 through something or like something like that. I feel like that's safer because it's not giving out your exact age. age unless you feel safe enough to give it out. I mean, you want to risk getting your life, like getting your life demolished. And I mean, you're fine, but like, yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> next review. Star Stables is right about Star. I love how in this game, children can have freedom to care for their very own horses without having to leave the room. But sometimes, if the Wi-Fi is not on, it can cause glitching. Other than oh, that, yeah. have fun oh, with your God. own horse in the virtual world full of surprises and adventure. <laughs> Don't spend too much money on clothing. Your horses need food. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this yeah, is an don't online spend... game. It's like Star Stable Online, so like obviously it's gonna glitch. Exactly. It's you have to have Wi-Fi, people. <laughs> you have to have Wi-Fi Who to play a game. Who is without Wi-Fi? I'm not counting Alaska, cause like, no. I mean, you can have Wi-Fi in Alaska. I mean, yeah, some people can, but it's just if you build your own cabin and you don't have Wi-Fi there, you just want to rev the. Rip. You just want to live the rough life of having no electronics and stuff. Okay, next review. This game, in- we- this game includes yeah. that it is quote unquote free. Though when you look at it, children can never really play without buying Star Rider, which I may add is expensive. Meaning this game is basically using fake advertisement. I would never recommend this game. My child was Star Rider for three months. Once the months were up, she was stuck at Moreland. This really upset her. Again, would not recommend this cash grab of a game. That's a... Well, I mean, I, um, guess, like, I, I know that the star coins are expensive. That's why, like, you buy double star coins on... I mean, that's why you buy it when it's double star coins and not, like, normal. Exactly. Because it can get really expensive when it's just double star coins. I mean, when it's not when it's not double star coins... Like, 3,000 for, like, one star, like, for 1,000 is, like, kind of a lot. But when you get double star coins, you can buy, like, $30 worth of for 2,000, which isn't that bad. Um, next review. Um, my 7-year-old son and I enjoy playing this game, but I have had to contact them numerous times for glitches and star coins, and many horses are way too expensive. Almost $30 USD for an animated horse is ridiculous. They charge you at every corner. You can't do certain races unless you have a specific horse, etc. I'm afraid to figure out how many hundreds of dollars I've wasted on this game. Um, well, uh-huh. <laughs> well I, mean, um. you, I mean, that just makes the horses a bit more special, like, like for the Icelandic race. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Wait, can these Icelandic yeah, the races be Icelandic- there? Wait, okay, do you I'm think the flying sure. pace is the toll? Yeah, I think that's it, because Violet Flower Garden said that no. this... No, okay. Like, one is dashing through the snow, and it looks like it's dashing through the snow. Wait, <laughs> um, Puppy, okay, what I want you to do is walk forward, hold shift, and press the up button. Oh, sure, oh, sure. Like you would normal toll on an Icelandic. Did you know about that? Uh, yeah. A lot of people didn't know about that. Okay. Oh, yes, the luxury of these blue, like, these blue mirrors. Mir- Those bleh. blue windows are amazing. I know, right? They match my sweatshirt. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're going to end the video right here because that was our last review, and we're coming up on, like, set 16 minutes. So, uh, <laughs> um, that was our last review, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.